Welcome friends. Today I am going to discuss geometric projections used in computer graphics. Geometric projection is basically transformation from 3D model coordinates to 2D pixel coordinates. So suppose we have some object in the 3D world coordinate system like some real objects and we wish to transform that object into a screen. So we all know that a screen is a two dimensional coordinate system. So basically when we capture some 3D objects and represent it on a 2D screen, this transformation of a 3D object into a 2D screen is known as geometric projection. Projections are basically of two types parallel projection and perspective projection where the parallel projection are of three types orthographic, axonometric and oblique projection. Axonometric further divided into three types isometric, diametric and trimetric and oblique has two special cases cavalier and cabinet projection. Now the perspective projection has three types, one point projection, two point projection and three point projections. So these are the type projection. Now we discuss the projections one by one. So starting with the parallel projection, the parallel projection, the line of projection or the projector lines are parallel to each other. Here we can see that this line and this line both line are parallel to each other so this is the object and we are projecting this object on this plane so the projector lines are parallel to each other so the size remains the same the orthographic projection we have seen that the parallel projection are of three type orthographic axonometric and oblique. So the first one is the orthographic projection. Orthographic projection, the projectors are orthogonal or we can say that it is perpendicular to the projection plane. So this is the object and these are the projectors. These projectors are parallel to the object and parallel to each other and are perpendicular to the plane. So by this we can see one phase of the object in the screen. Multi-view orthographic projection. Projection plane is parallel to principal phase. So in orthographic projection we are able to see either the front phase, side phase or top phase or bottom phase. So at a time only one phase is visible in orthographic projection system. This is the simple matrix representation of orthographic projection. So projection on z equals to 0 plane, we have simply make the z coordinate 0. So x coordinate 1, y coordinate 1 and z coordinate 0. It means if a point XYZ is projected on Z plane, then the Z will become 0 and only we get XY axis. Similarly, projection on X equals to 0 and Y equals to 0 planes are respectively where X becomes 0 and Y becomes 0. So these are the matrix representation of orthographic projection. Properties, it preserves both distance and angle. So the distance between each phase and each edges and the angles of all the vertices are preserved. So it preserves the shape. So you get the same shape of the object into the projection plane. It can be used for measurements because there is no change in the shape, size. Therefore, we can use this 
kind of projection to measure the uh, dimensions of any phase. It is used for building plans, machine part design, etc. Cannot see what object really looks because many surfaces are hidden from the view. Because we are getting only one view at a time, either front, back, either side, top or bottom. So we cannot see what object is really look like. Second is the axonometric projection. It allows projection plane to move relative to the object classified by how many angles of a corner of a project cube are the same. So now we move the object to get the projection of more than one faces. So like if we rotate the object in one axis, then we are able to see at least two faces and again we rotate the object from another axis then we can see three faces of the object. In this case we are able to see the front face, the right side face and the top face. So three faces are visible. So from a vertex there are three major angles in any vertex. So based upon the Similarity of the angles, we can divide it the axonometric projection into three types. If none of the angles are same, it is called trimetric projection. If two of the angles are same, any two, either one, two, one, three, or two, three, two angles are same and one is different, this type of projection is known as diametric projection. And if all the three angles are same, then it is called isometric projection. Okay. This is the example of isometric projection where three of the angles are same. So we can see a symmetrical pattern, diametric projection where two of the angles are same and one is different. So we can see two sides symmetry and third one is asymmetric. And if all the three angles are different, then we can get this kind of projection where every angles are different. Properties of axonometric projection, lines are scaled, means foreshortened lines are there. Lines are preserved, but angles are not. So the lines are of the same size but the angles are not of the same size. Projection of a circle will become ellipse. If we project a circle in axonometric projection then we can get an ellipse as the result. Can see three principal phases of a box like a structure. If we project a box then we can able to see three principal phases like front either side top or bottom or any three faces. Some optical illusions are possible because of the difference in the angles like diametric and tri trimetric. We can get some optical illusion. It does not look like real because far objects are scaled the same as near objects. So it is not looking like real for a larger objects because as per our natural vision, the objects in the front appears bigger than the object at the back of the same size. But our perspective will see it a different size. But in axonometric projection, the objects near and far, both objects will be scaled at the same. Therefore, the object does not look like real object. Now third one is the ob oblique projection in the parallel projection. Here the projectors are not perpendicular to the projection plane. So it is a kind of parallel projection but the projectors are parallel to each other but it is not perpendicular to the projection plane. Like if this is the projection plane the projectors are not parallel, uh, not perpendicular to the plane. So instead of 
the perpendicular projection plane the projectors are having some angle with this projection plane which is not 90 degree so this is the matrix of oblique projection here we have two uh, special members a b and because uh, if we are projecting it on the z equals to 0 plane then the z value will be 0 and we get two more values a and b where a is minus cot phi and b is minus cot alpha where the phi and alpha characterize the degree of the obliqueness so here we have two special cases of oblique projection one is when the angle alpha is 45 degree and the other one when the angle alpha is 63.4 degree. What is the difference between these two cavalier and cabinet? In cavalier, all the edges looks same. Uh, they are actually same in the size. Cabinet looks more real than cavalier because in cabinet, the angle 63.4 is that in which we can see the back surface little smaller than the front. Therefore, it gives a perspective of a real object. The angle can be chosen to emphasize a particular face. Angles in face parallel to projection plane are preserved. Physically oblique projection cannot be created with simple camera. Now the second type of projection that is perspective projection. In perspective projection, the projectors are not parallel. They intersect at a point. That point is called center of projection, COP. So here we see that these projector lines are not parallel to each other. They make uh, some angle with this. And if we extend the projectors, then at some place, all the projectors will coincide in one point and this point is known as the center of projection so we can say that in perspective projection the center of projection is defined but in parallel projection the center of projection is at infinity because parallel lines made infinity here we are having three types of project uh, perspective projection the first one is the one point perspective projection here one principal phase is parallel to the projection plane. See, the main phase is parallel to the projection plane and others are not. So, here we get one phase exactly same and the other phase we have the projectors which are not parallel to each other. But in one phase means at least two projectors are par parallel to each other and the third projector is not. In one point perspective projection, the center of projection is defined by one dimension, that is, uh, suppose PZ equals to D, then the projectors are uh, X0, Y0, and at Z axis it is minus 1 by D. And in two point perspective projection, one principal axis is parallel to the projection plane. Here we can see that the y axis is parallel to the projection plane, but x is not parallel and z is not parallel. So the x and z are not parallel to each other, but the y is parallel to the principal axis. And these two are not parallel to the principal axis. So we have the projectors not parallel in two di directions and the third projector lines are parallel to each other. So it is two point perspective projection. Now matrix is this. Here the center of projection is defined by two values D and E respectively on the principal axis X and principal axis Y. Now the three point perspective projection in this None of the principal faces or axes are parallel to projection plane. Means all the axes, x axis, the projectors on the x axis is not parallel to each other. 
the projector on the y axis is also not parallel to each other and projectors on the z axis is also not parallel to each other so this is defined by three valued center of projection px py pz respectively def so we have the projection matrix minus 1 by d minus 1 by e and minus 1 by f so if the center of projection is defined by one point it is called one point perspective projection if center of projection is defined by two points or two values that is known as two point perspective projection and if the center of projection is defined by three values or three points that is known as three point perspective projection now the vanishing point vanishing point because the projectors are not parallel so the projector lines on the object converge at a single point in the projection and that point is known as the vanishing point it means if we start drawing the projectors from the face and all the projectors because they are not parallel to each other so they will meet at a single point that point is known as the vanishing point the properties are objects further from viewers are projected smaller than the small same size object closer to the viewer so it will look realistic because the lines are not parallel to each other therefore the objects which are away from the viewer seemed smaller than the objects which are near to the viewer equal distance along a line are not projected into equal distance so non uniform foreshortening angle preserved only in planes parallel to the projection plane and if the planes are not parallel then the angle are not preserved more difficult to construct by hand than parallel projection but in real image capturing devices like camera or these things we always get the perspective projection so this is all for today thank you very much